All right, guys, this is just a quick update on a couple changes that I've made to my AR-15 since uh, since I last posted a video. Um, I think uh, it's called AR-15 build or Spikes, Spikes Tactical AR-15 build. Um, and initially what I did is I bought the lower and uh, built the lower, put it together myself. Um, I was going to put the... Um, the upper together myself, but I uh, got a great deal on this Spikes upper. It was complete, so I went the Lazy Man's route and just bought that. Um, so initially, it, you know, it was set up a little differently, and um, after shooting it for a while and trying out different things, I just made a few changes. Wanted to just give you guys uh, a little bit of information on what I've changed and how I like it. Uh, first thing I did was uh, I changed out the grip. I had an Ergo grip on there, and. Uh, decided that the Magpul, um, the MOE grip, um, was just better for my hands. Um, I used to have an MOE grip on my first AR, um, and initially the Ergo grip felt good, but after a while, after shooting it, um, it was pretty thin back here, and it would just, you know, it was a, like a constant push right here, um, just against your palm. I mean, I know that recoil on 5.56 is nothing, but after a while it just becomes annoying. But anyway, so I do like the, uh, the flat back back here. This one specifically is the MOE Plus. It's got a rubberized texture, um, but in terms of ergonomics and dimensions, it's, it's the same as the regular MOE. Um, also put in this uh, Magpul bad lever. Um, I find it very convenient. Some people don't like it. Some people think it's useless, but um, I definitely like it. Um, if you ever tried one of these, it just really just makes it very convenient to, uh, you know, it's just especially at the range after you you know, switch out mags, just, your finger's already here, so. Um, another thing I switched out was the charging handle. I decided to go and uh, put on a uh, BCM gunfighter. Um, I changed this out initially because I used to have a scope up here, and it was very hard for me to, with the scope being right back here, um, to get a good hold of the uh, good grip with, of the uh, charging handle, so I got this one because it had the extended latch. But um, more importantly, um, it just—it's more—it just feels like it's not going to bend or break. So I really I highly recommend this charging handle to anyone uh, looking to replace theirs. Um, speaking of scope, I—I um, I had a Nikon M223. Uh, ended up selling it. Nothing wrong with the scope again, um, but uh, I just really I just didn't really use it. Um, I just didn't feel like this was a long range rifle. I was using this up to 100 yards only, so I kind of wanted to go with something a little bit lighter. The scope was very, very heavy. So I went with this inexpensive primary arms micro dot. Actually bought it used for 70 bucks from a friend of mine. Um, and initially I only bought it um, as a temporary setup until I saved up for the Aimpoint micro T1. But, um, uh, to be honest with you, I just uh, don't feel the need to spend the money right now. This is, uh, it works well, um, never loses zero. It's just, uh, it's perfect and it's very light, which is what I was looking for. Um, got rid of the vertical grip, went with the um, angled foregrip. Uh, took me a little bit, a little while to get used to it. I actually borrowed a friend, uh, a friend's angled foregrip first. Um, he wasn't using it. I borrowed, I borrowed it from him for a while and um, just to see if I liked it. And I ended up ordering my own. Um, it's not for everybody. I mean, it does take a little while to get used to, but uh, I found that it's just it's very, very comfortable. Um, the other thing I did also, um, highly recommend this. Um, this this is an Inforce light. Um, great, great, great little light. Um, mounts directly to the, um, to the rail. Um, no mounts needed. Um, it's integrated. Um, it's got three settings, which, let me flip it over this way. It's got three settings. It's got the you know the regular, the lower, and then if you double tap it, it's got the uh, stroke function. Great little light. It's, it's about 125, 130 bucks, I believe. Um, very, very light. Polymer construction. Um, look into it. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of these around, but uh, highly recommend it. And then finally, um, I think. Uh, my favorite upgrade has to be the uh, the trigger. So I had a mil spec trigger that um, you know when you buy the lower lower parts kit, it's just a mil spec trigger. It was fine. I was actually pretty happy with it until I fired a friend of mine's and uh, mine just felt like shit. So I went with a Chip McCormick um, three and a half pound trigger. 
and uh, it is just unbelievably smooth and crisp and light. Um, scary light, actually. It's, uh, it's just, uh, it's awesome. Um, double taps are just nothing. I mean, it's just, um, it's an unbelievable trigger. I can't really explain it over the, uh, you know, on a video, but, uh, guys, trust me, it's, uh, I think out of all the little doodads and things that I've added to this and, uh, you know, uh, this, this is probably the best investment I made. Um, I think I paid 200 bucks for it and it was just, uh, well, well worth it. So, Anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to keep this one. Um, actually, also, one thing that I actually just bought today, and I've been looking for one of these for a while, um, this is a Spikes Tactical Nickel Boron uh, Bull Carrier Group. You guys can see it there. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Um, finally found one at my local gun range where I'm a member. Um, I never buy anything from them because they're extremely overpriced. I just go there to shoot. Um, but, however, I did see this in there. Um, it was marked, I believe, at 200 bucks, which is a great price. But the added benefit is annual members get 10% off of everything. So I ended up getting an additional 20 bucks off, got it for 180 bucks. Um, this is probably gonna go in here. Um, I am working on a new build. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but um, I will uh, keep you guys posted with that. But anyway, please let me know if you have any questions, comments, and um, as always, thanks for watching.